Divine Truth Assistance Group. These group assistance sessions are about putting principles of divine truth into action. This discussion is part of the 2014 Australia Group 2 series. Jesus gives group truth on the subject of group dynamics and addictions. Filmed on the 29th of July 2014 in Monterey, New South Wales, Australia. Okay. Now, I'd just like to, if we can have the board for a second, because just before we have another break, I'd like to address an issue with all of you. If I can just put it on a bit of an angle, Connie, that'd be good for me. It's good. Okay. How'd that feel? Bit intense. Yep. Yeah. I have noticed a lot of people using divine truth and actually degrading their condition since the time I've met them. It's a pretty sad thing. And and the reason why is they use the terminology to justify their addictive rage or their addictive actions. And uh, honestly, you do that, you're going to get yourself in a lot of strife here with God and a lot of strife with God's laws, right? Um, now, if I could just say something to the group. We have a group of women with us here on earth, here, present, right now, who are just in a rage with men. That's just in a rage with men. Like, there's a lot of you that are in a rage with men. Some of you don't even know why. <laughs> You're just in a rage with men, right? Now, so this is a group of women. And you also have rage towards other people, other women. Competitive, jealous, all these kind of feelings, right? Then we have a group of women, another group of women, who pander to those kind of women. <laughs> In other words, they don't necessarily agree. They don't have as much rage as those first group of women but they still go along with what those women feel. Now this group of women is surrounded by spirits who are very, very dark. Right? Women spirits who are very, very dark, very evil women spirits. Now, you've brought them along with you. One of the reasons why yesterday you were very repressed and suppressed is because you've brought a lot of very dark spirits along with you to this group. These women spirits have been a trying to attack myself, Mary, uh, Corny, Lena, Igor, for the previous five days before you came. Right? Just so that this group wouldn't go very well. And this women, these women have a tendency to pander those women. There are some of you, and, and it's only a few, there are some of you whom these people attack. And some of you have been drawn to this group just because you are a person given to the attack that comes from others. Now, you've just seen an example. Pierre is one of those people who is open, completely open to the attack of angry women. Does that make sense? Completely open to it. There's, there's, there's an addiction in him that makes him so open to it that he just even attracts it in his personal life. Huh? There are a group of men who pander to these kind of women. In other words, they just go along with them. You know, sometimes it's because you want sex. Sometimes it's because you want a feeling from that woman. You know, you, you're looking for something from that woman. And there's just a group of men. Now, there are others who don't fit into any of these categories, I must say. So, you know, this is, this is just simple dynamics of what's going on through attraction. There are a number of people, a few people, who are just totally overcloaked by spirits who are just morose. Uh, Ella, you are one of those persons. And where is um, Alex? Yeah, Alex? You're one of those persons, right? 
And you, the last couple of days, have been walking around in a projection stupor, I would call it. In other words, you're projecting out all of this, like, feelings that you want attention, approval, acceptance, and all these different things, right, to other people. And the reason why you're doing that is you are constantly getting attacked by these spirits, constantly. And you know, and you know what happens is these, when we're in an environment like this, this is what happened to you in, in Texas, and this happens all the time for you, Alex. What happens is these spirits, whenever you come to an environment like this, they attack you, because they don't want to be here, right? They don't want to be here. They attack you. After two or three days of you being attacked and not feeling about it, you start attacking other people. And that's why we had to remove you from the last group, because you started attacking us. Right? My suggestion is you are going to have to feel something <laughs> about this attack. If you want this to improve, you're going to have to feel something about the attack. Right? You like a codependent relationship, both of you, with these spirits. You like it. And you've, and you've got to see why. And partly it's about power, partly it's about control, it's about superiority, about those kind of emotions, the things that you get from these spirits. Now, you bring along them with you. These spirits are not pleasant. So everyone here has to endure them while you have them with you. Right? My suggestion is start looking at that. Now, what I'm trying to do here is demonstrate to you the reason why you've been suppressed the last couple of days, right? the reason why you feel so resistive, is because all of these different dynamics are going on. Now what we'd like to try to do over the next few days is to confront these dynamics, show you what's happening and confront them. But we need your engagement with this process, because if you don't want to engage the process of learning about it, then there's really not much point in continuing. Does that make sense? And, and, and the alternative is I select the few people who I feel are very open and willing to listen to truth and there's about 15 or 20 of them in the group and I select all those and the rest of you go home if that's what you would prefer. Or we deal with these issues. What, what would you like to do? You want to stay and deal or you want to I just do the other thing? <laughs> well, I don't want to have to deal with your resistance. Do you understand that? Like, why would I want to stand up here for the next five, six days and deal with your resistance? I don't want to do that. I would like to see some people who are openly wanting to know what's really going on in their life. Does that sound all right with you? So my suggestion is that this is what we do, but it's going to require some more openness from you. It's also going to require those of you who are afraid of spirits and overcloaked by spirits or, or, or in rages with people on earth through spirit influence, it's going to require that you stop doing these things. Right? Some of you swing like a pendulum between two groups of spirits, like Rita, for example. You swing, here's you, here's you swinging on a pendulum, right, between two groups of spirits. You, so this, you can think of that as a pendulum, you're swinging back and forth, right? There's this group of spirits over here, are all very nice and lovely. Right? They, don't, they don't understand divine truth. In fact, you don't understand divine truth, to be blunt. But, but they give you nice feelings, they're positive, they want you to be a good person, and all of those kind of things, right? So they're quite positive in your life, in terms of an influence. Then there's this group of people over here, really negative. Like, they're just like, I would call them very unkind, suspicious, untrusting, now, you can see for both of them why both of them are attracted to you. But what happens with poor you is you swing between this really lovely space and this really unkind space, back and forth, back and forth. And I've seen you do that in five-minute intervals sometimes. Right? So it's, and this is because we're not owning our feelings. You see, we need to le learn to own our feelings here. If all of us decide now to start owning our real feelings. We can already get rid of a lot of this influence that's influencing this, the proceedings here. And you will feel buoyant rather than suppressed. 
then you'll have more engagement and more interest in what's being discussed. Does that make sense? But if you keep suppressing, and many of you are suppressing quite heavily your true feelings, what's going to happen is there's these spirits that you've all dragged along with you for this week, because we didn't have them here last week, by the way, <laughs> right? these spirits that have all been dragged along this week, they are going to just knock you to bits this week. And I, and I don't think that's a very good thing. Now, some of you have been so open to abuse from others, like, so for example, Pierre has been, yourself, Catherine, you're open to abuse from others, that, that this is why you're attracted to this group, because it is a more abusive group, to be honest. And many of you are more abusive to other people in your, in your relationships, and the spirits with you are more abusive uh, as well. We need to address these problems if we're going to get anywhere with the next few days. Does that sound all right with you? All right. So if you can think about this in the context, the next few days in the context of deconstructing some of these addictions that, that are going on that will help, and confronting some real truth here rather than just skipping over it, that would be fantastic. You had a question, Catherine? I just wanted to say that when I sat down to it this morning in here, yep. um, I felt a spirit, um, yes, there on top of my head. Yeah. And um, they, What they're doing is they're just scouting around looking for any person they can oppress. There's one. I'm going to knock her to bits. <laughs> yes. And I told it it was very unloving and to go away and, and all of that sort of stuff. And then I said... Um, to Mary what was happening and she said go outside and feel what it's like to be oppressed or she didn't say go outside she just said feel, feel what, what it's like to yep. be oppressed yep. the spirit is now gone but it's left me with this headache because you're now suppressing the grief associated with what it's like to be suppressed by somebody else or oppressed by somebody else yes. does that make sense? thank you yeah so as soon as you shut down the grief, the headache will, will be there, right? Some of you were doing that really intensely uh, Friday night, right? Uh, was it Friday? Sunday night, Sunday night. Yeah. Shutting down the grief of the oppression. Now, many of you guys who have been attracted to this group, you are just oppressed by women. You are. You know who you are. <laughs> You're oppressed by women, right? You need to see the addiction. Many of you need to see the addiction you have in allowing it to continue, uh, if this is ever going to improve. Glenda? Um, I acknowledge that I have rage with men. You do? Yeah. I, well, I'm angry and hate my father. He was violent. And yeah, yeah, I agree. So I'm assuming that that's projected to other men as well. Of course it is, yes. But when you talk about spirits and all this sort of thing, I just feel quite blank. I have absolutely no idea whether I'm influenced by spirits or... Of course you are. Any person who's in a rage, the rage is, is the avoidance of real emotion. Any time you avoid your real emotion, a spirit or groups of spirits will connect to you and use that emotion to also connect to their avoiding emotions and then use you to express their feelings. And they do it with you frequently. Yep. You're in complete denial of it. That's why you can't, don't know. Does that make sense? Yep. Just assume that every emotion that you deny, every emotion that you try to suppress, will be used against you by a spirit who is dark. They will. And a lot of times, you'll be in complete agreement with the action. Complete agreement. So when it comes to rage with men, you are in complete agreement with these spirits. Yep. And it's time for you to come face to face with that and see the unloving choice that you're making there. Right. We, today is going to be a very good day for helping you identify some things. We're, right? and, and tomorrow too. If we go next to you, and then across to Alex. Um, thank you, um, Jennifer. I've had a, I had a headache yesterday. I started yep. having another one again today. Yeah. Um, I identify with that 
feeling, the denial of feeling being attacked. Yeah. Um, the suppression of my childhood, in my childhood. Um, soon as you said, feel the feeling of being attacked, the headache has started. It's, it's actually going away. It's hardly there. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. But, but, but the problem, Jennifer, is that you use all of this as an excuse to be angry yourself. So... Okay. Have me understand that, please. Uh, no, I don't want to talk about that now. I use it as an excuse to be angry. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah. You, you, do, you, you do get angry with other people. Yes, I do. And you do I feel do. it quite strongly. Yes. And you're often being influenced by these women's spirits. Okay. Now, just me talking about it is going to alleviate some of the pressure. But what you guys and what you women in particular don't understand in this situation is that you are attracting these women to you because you agree with them. All right. You agree with them. And then when I start trying to talk about something different, you get oppressed. Why is that? Because they don't want you to hear what I've got to say. They don't. They want you to go back to their, your codependent addiction with them. That's okay. why some of you are getting he heavy. Some of you are getting heavy because I'm trying to talk to you about love and they're trying to say to you, I don't want to hear anything about love. I just want to go around and hammer as many men as I possibly can. Right? And they're actually more violent than that, you know, swearing and carrying on in the process. Right? They want to kill men. Honestly, many of the men, women with you want to kill men. That's all they want to do. And they, like, like poor Nick here, he, he's like, they're trying to eat his gizzards out to kill him, right? And so there's part, different people in the audience that these women are just trying to get straight into and, and you bringing them along just makes it worse for these people. It's, it's, it's bad enough to have a problem internally where you are open to being attacked than actually having a group of people come together who want to attack as well. That's, that, that's a problem. So we need, we need to, for everybody's sake, to, to own the real feelings right here rather than just skip over them because you do not understand how much damage is going on to different people even while we're here. Right? And the last thing I would like to see is people like Nick having a whole week of pain because you all want to have a rage with men and, and, you want, and he's an open target. Right? That is not fair on him. It's not fair on other people to do that. And we've got to see the problem here properly. Right? It's not fair for Catherine to have to endure the abuse of women that she's endured right from her childhood. That's not fair. Right? Just being in this audience makes it hard for her. Right? So it's time that those of you who are angry, those of you who are angry with men, those of you who are angry with women, those of you who want this spirit influence, those of you who want power and control, started to see the damage you're doing just by carrying these spirits around with you, harming other people. Right? Have I been firm enough about that? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Far away. I have noticed, especially in the last few weeks, how... I'm, I go in and out of the denial. I'm only just starting to realise how much I do that, and I do get angry, and then and then it's like, where is the anger? I don't know where it is. So it's... Mary would like to say something. How about we let okay. her <laughs> come, come here, baby? Jennifer, I feel that um, the anger goes away because you regain control of everything that's happening. Correct. You have a huge addiction to control, which you get met with a lot of different methods, and then you don't feel angry. But that's actually quite damaging to the yep. environment around you. Thank you for that. There is a very strong need for all of you here, because most of you are in some kind of codependent addiction here, so there's a very strong need for all of us here who are present to realise we've attracted this, right? Firstly, so there's something going on we need to resolve. Secondly, today, tomorrow and the next day are going to give us a lot of tools where we can address these issues. A lot of tools, right? As long as we can be present, as long as we can engage the process. Does that make sense? So my suggestion is stick with it, engage the process, but, but start to own some of these feelings so that some of these other spirits who are just here causing problems to people 
they, they can, we can alleviate the amount of control they have here and they can go and we'll at least be able to have some positive discussion about what you're going to do in your day-to-day -day life. Does it sound all right to you? Yeah. And, and to be honest, I do not want to see these pe people who are so used to abuse, you know, you've seen, I've pointed out a few of them, there's more, but who are so used to being abused, I don't want to see them have to endure this abuse any longer in the audience. Right? So we need to own our stuff here for that to stop. Sound good? And are we going to have some positive stuff about how to resolve some of these issues now over the coming few days or are we just going to skip over it all and act in our facade and hope it all goes away because it's not going to go away if we do that. So I think we're better off confronting it as it is. Now, normally I wouldn't have discussed this with you this morning uh, because I really didn't want to discuss anything to do with spirits with you this entire week, to be honest. It's time that each of us understood our own part that we play in the amount of influence that's around us. The, our own part, what we do, right? This is our focus this week. What am I doing to attract all this stuff is the key thing. Now, Alex, you wanted to ask a question. Um, I, I zoned out for the second part of the advice you gave. Yep. So I caught um, fear. Can, can I suggest that you zone out of anything you don't want to hear, right? And the spirits with you love helping you do that because they want to maintain this control over you. You are in, still in a lot of danger of, of psychosis, man. Like you're still in a lot of danger of it. And, and you just love what these spirits give you. They give you a sense that you're superior and you're better than other people, that you're more important than other people. And you love that. You're just addicted to that. And it's time you stopped. Because if you don't, you're going to drive yourself nuts, literally nuts. You're going to give your, your will over to these spirits so much like you have done in the past. And it's just going to be terrible for you if you keep doing this. So you need to find the addictive reason why you want them with you. So what I'm suggesting suggest to you, tomorrow, listen to the addiction stuff. Feel the compulsions you have. Right? Tomorrow there's a lot of really good information about that. Let yourself engage that information positively. Does it make sense? Yeah, sure. Yep. That's what I would do for yourself. The same advice applies to you, Ella, too. Just, yes, yes. Okay, well, let's have a break so we, uh, so we can go. To, I need to go to the loo before I get started on the next one. And uh, so if we come back in, can we say 10 minutes or so and we get started? <laughs>